So we're under the uh, bottom of my uh, Mitsubishi Challenger 4 m 40 um, Couldn't find any videos on YouTube, just had a little change. Put a change on one of these. Uh, so I put this one up so we won't make any mistakes. Uh, not that I so. <laughs> So to get to the oil sump, um, you've got to remove the two bash plates on the front, um, uh, one there and the one sitting on the top there, so they cover up this entire area. So do not <laughs> go into that sump there, um, that's for the automatic transmission fluid, and you don't want to, <laughs> unless you're planning on changing that, you want to leave it alone. Uh, so. Um, yeah, you remove that, it's about five, uh, two bolts for the front one, five for the back one. Um, and yeah, it's pretty obvious with the sump there. Uh, it's a pretty messy job changing the changing the oil filter. It's pretty tight up there. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. Um, and it is, yeah, it's pretty messy. You've got no option on that, so just prepare for that. Um, and then that's the new one I've got on there now. Um, so what I'm going to do is just throw the bolt um, back in the sump, throw five or so liters in, crank her over for a few for a few seconds to get her oil around the engine, and then just uh, keep checking and topping it up until she shows full. So to recap, <laughs> standard oil change, but the sump's on the front under the two bash plates, which have to be removed and not the automatic transmission fluid change which I will do um, in the next couple of months anyway um, so yeah <laughs> no worries at all